Hi, I'm Darcy Norman. I'm manager of learning technologies here at the Taylor Institute for Teaching and Learning at the University of Calgary. Uh, when Alan Levine says he needs a video about something, pretty much you have to jump and do it. So here's a really quick video of my thoughts on credentialing and maybe badging, I don't know, for Creative Commons. What would that involve? Um, so I can see kind of two sides, and maybe they're, maybe they're the same side of it. But basically, a way to help people through the process of sharing their own stuff, finding other people's stuff, and using it. And so maybe there are credentials involved with, um, I made a video, and I posted it online, and I shared it with Creative Commons. Check. There's some, some uh, portion going to, towards mini, mini, micro, nano credential. Um, go through a series of these steps. Maybe one is that you have properly selected the Creative Commons license on the upload form on whatever platform that you use. Um, so walking them through scaffolding, how do you select the license? What do the license options mean? Uh, and that you've gone through that process, there's some kind of credentialing around that, perhaps. Um, I think what would be really a shame is if the credentialing came around to a test on how do you understand the licensing. Is it a multiple choice test? Is it you know, compliance? And I don't think anybody's going to do that. But scaffolding or a challenge to help people create and share content would be really cool a challenge or, or a, a scaffolding to help people find content and use it. Uh, things like your CC, mic, your, uh, CC Finder uh, plugin so people can find stuff and put it on their WordPress post. That you've found Creative Commons licensed content and used it. Um, that you have remixed it somehow. There's some, another level. You know, the next, you've, you've made something, you've found something somebody else has done. Third level would be you've found something and you've modified it and then you've shared the results of that. Uh, all appropriately, appropriately licensed as you go through and providing that sense of scaffolding. So not about compliance, not about the legalese, not about understanding uh, that side of it, but helping people through the process of creating, sharing, reusing, uh, and selecting whatever license is appropriate uh, as a form of literacy and action as opposed to just multiple choice tests. So that's my thoughts. How do we help people actually make stuff as opposed to just learning about the concept of making stuff.